All right, so it's a Saturday after Mud for the Cure, and I'm doing, of course, the funnest part, and that's cleaning up after the ride. Um, Marge is over there. I got in a, I got stuck pretty good on a Saturday, and so there's a lot of mud built up, and like mud on the skid plate, of course, and coming home, and I don't really want it building up in the, in the driveway or the um, grass. So actually, I let it dry up for a while, and there's a bunch of big clumps on there. And I've never done this before, but I just started going around and like beating on the plastics and the side, um, and then I got a scraper and just went out and scraped like the the A arms and just any big clumps of mud I could. And I actually took the back of the skid plate off, dropped it, and then just started beating on that, and all this mud fell off. I mean, it's quite a bit. I mean, just imagine that accumulating. You know, over three or four rides everywhere, and then when this stuff, of course, gets wet, it's gonna uh, dissolve more and just get even more messy. So, just doing that, and then with the hose, I mean, that's pretty well clean. So um, now I'm just gonna get the power washer out on the driveway and finish it up and actually get the film off of it. And then what I use, um, I actually use Zep a lot, but I kind of want to try the Purple Power. It's a concentrate, concentrate, and um, I'm gonna put it in the sprayer, dilute it just a little bit. Uh, that'll then spray that on, leave that sit for about, I don't know, what, five, ten minutes, and then power wash that off. Then I go back with some, the um, Eagle One Etching Mag Cleaner. It's got, it has to be the etching stuff, and that will clean up all your metals and aluminums and stuff like that. And then when I'm done with that, then I go back with the coverall. I put this stuff on everything, plastics, hoses, uh, metal, tires, everything. That'll give it its shine. Um... I mean, it's kind of a little cleaning bucket. I, I usually don't soap up my plastics just because it's still an off-road bike, and I don't care, I guess, that much to actually soap it down. I am looking to get maybe one of them foam cannons. Those seem to do pretty well. Um, you know the seats are never going to come clean. Uh, what else? So if you guys actually know of any other better way or whatever concoctions you use, let me know. Because, uh, I mean, this stuff works fine, but, of course, ideally, I would just like to come home with a water hose like five minutes later and it'd be clean. But that's not going to happen. So, well, yeah, that's a little tip, though. I just started doing that, and it saved me a ton of time. And then I can just sweep this up now and throw it in the, the, the you know, the trash instead of it being everywhere in, the like, the driveway and building up in the um, grass there. So this is about as muddy as this thing got because I didn't even unstrap it from the trailer. Just having too much fun on the uh, razor. And, I mean, it's for sale. I just, I just it's whatever. So, yep.